Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to add a kind of dark and purplish effect to your image. And it looks very dramatic in the end. So we're going to turn this image into this. As you can see, it's a very, very cool effect. So let's dive into this right away. I'm going to head back to this original image and let's get started. The first thing I want to do is click Command L or Control L if you're on Windows to bring up the levels. And I'm going to change this 0 to 8. And I'm going to change the 255 to 241. And press OK. Next, we're going to be messing with the curves a little bit. So what I'm going to do is click on this uh, half dark and half light circle right here. And we're going to click on curves. And we're going to change this, the RGB, to red. We're only going to focus on the reds a little bit. And we're just going to bring this bottom a little bit down, just slightly varying it, and this top a little bit down. So it should look something like that. And then let's click on the greens, and we're going to do a similar thing for the greens. Just click down here, bring that a little bit down, and then let's bring this and let's click this top and match it back up with the line. Just like that. And then I'm going to click on the blues. The blues is kind of where it gets a little different. We're going to make kind of a backwards S. So let's click down here. Uh, just bring this up a little bit and then click up here and bring this down a little bit. So it should look something like that. Next, we're going to double click on our background layer and press OK. This is going to unlock our background layer. We're going to hold shift and click on the top layer, the curves layer. This is going to select both of them and we're going to right click and click on merge layers. Next, we're going to right click again and click on duplicate layer and press OK. And now we want this top layer to be black and white. So let's click on image adjustments, black and white, and just press OK to that. Now we want to change the blend mode of this top layer to darken, and we want to have an opacity of about 70%. So that looks good. Now we want to duplicate the bottom layer again. So click on that and right click and click duplicate layer and press OK. Now we want this new layer. We want to add a gradient map to this new layer. So let's click on image, hover over adjustments and click on gradient map. So now let's click on this gradient image right here. Now on the left side, we want to have a dark purple color with a hex code of 3C2E45 and press OK. And then on the right side, we want to have a light purple color with a hex code of 7C6CAF and press OK. And then let's press OK to that and press OK again. Now we want the, to set the blend mode of this layer to hard light. So let's find that. And we want it to be at about 50%. So that looks good so far. We are exactly where we want to be. Now the last thing, let's make a new layer. Command Shift N if you're on a Mac or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. Press OK. And we want to select the paint bucket tool with the color black and just fill that in. Then we want to change the blend mode to overlay. And we want to select the brush tool or the eraser tool and select a large soft brush and just erase uh, the center of the image with the person. So that, do that a couple times and you'll get this nice vignette effect around the image. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys like it. This is what we come out with in the end and it's a very cool dramatic looking uh, darkish effect to add to any of your pictures. So that's it for this video. This is Octotoots.com and until next time, I will see you guys later.